two words that fill me full of dread. Dry January. It's not that I'm a raging alcoholic or anything. Well, fair enough, I do have the odd tipple from time to time. But I see it more as like a wider thing. Dry as in boring. Dry as in we've all got no money from Christmas because we spent too much on presents and things. Dry as in we've all started some really boring diet and we're going to talk to our friends about it all the time. Dry as in we're always in the gym and not doing anything fun anymore. I wonder why we do it. At the start of every year we start with a purge. What, because we had fun at Christmas? We had some turkey and some chocolate. Great. Look at Nigella, she's like the sexiest person in the world. She eats whatever she wants whenever she wants to. I can't imagine her doing dry January. But it's kind of a weird thought when you think about it. And something that troubles me a little bit. January is the start of a new year. Start as you mean to go on and all that. Do you really want to start with a dry month? And I'm not talking alcohol, still not talking alcohol, I'm talking dry as in boring. Do you really want to purge? Do you really want to not let yourself have stuff or have fun? Do you really want to stay in and not do anything interesting? It's a new fresh year, we can start with anything we want to do. You can start an evening class. You can do something on your lunch times. You can have a diet, start a diet and an exercise programme, but don't see it as a negative, don't see it as... Oh, I'm not allowed biscuits anymore. See, as I'm looking after my heart. We seem to not be very good at saying to other people that we're looking after our mental health and happiness. I've started a project this year called The Fuck It List, and basically every day for 365 days, I'm going to be doing something new with someone I love, or someone I admire, or someone I've just met who means a lot to me. And already I've had a fantastic January. A lot of it's been people at work teaching me stuff. And there's no cost there. It's not even monetary. It's taking time and making time for ourselves. And our happiness and our well-being and our development as humans. Surely that's what January's about. Not about getting obsessed over cabbage or trying to work off all the pounds from the five chocolates we had over Christmas. It's an opportunity to try new things and it doesn't matter if we're not very good at them because it's only January, we can get good at them by the end of the year and then that's something to talk to our friends about. So why don't we have try January rather than dry January? Just think about it. Think of starting something new and doing something fun instead of obsessing over all the really bad things that you need to do instead. We shouldn't punish ourselves, we should reward ourselves. We've got through another year, and there's a fresh one waiting in front of us. How exciting is that? It's incredible. We get this time to do what we want. And no one else is going to look after our mental health and well-being other than ourselves. Sure, our friends and family will be there for us. But ultimately, we are the masters of our own health and destiny. So if that's going to the gym and running, do it. Fuck it. If that's eating some cake, do it. Fuck it. If that's learning a new language in your lunch break from your colleague at work, do it. Fuck it. Just try something new. And let's have a try January? Well then a dry January. Because no one likes being boring. Happy New Year!